Pediatric dentist Dr. James Jesse has been performing an intricate laser surgery at his office in Loma Linda, California, known as phrenectomy, on babies and children for more than 15 years. This simple oral surgical procedure is very common in infants and involves removal of the frenulum, a small fold of tissue inside the middle of the upper lip or under the tongue. The short, thick band of tissue tethers the bottom of the tongue's tip to the floor of the mouth. Tongue tie can affect the way a child eats, speaks, swallows, and interfere with breastfeeding. Uh, I, I believe that just before birth, your fingers are webbed and your toes are webbed and, and your lip is, is tied down and your tongue's tied down. So that's before birth, there's a chemical process that happens that dissolves this tissue. So what I think is, and nobody can disprove this, of course, is it doesn't totally dissolve. Because most people, seven out of eight don't have it. And not everybody's tongue-tied and lip-tied that has a lip-tie that don't necessarily have a tongue-tie, but you did see both today. Is, so the chemical process doesn't complete itself. The baby's born, so now what? Well, they struggle, um, failure to thrive, a lot of them. And some overcome it, but some don't. And, of course, that's what we see. He's got two issues. Anterior. Did, anterior. Did you know that? Uh, no. You want to see him? Yes. Come up here. <laughs> really close. So this tissue right here yeah. is wide and it's thick. Mm -hmm. And that keeps him from being able to latch and seal really well for breastfeeding. Is that not his tongue? Yes. That tissue? Yeah. Keeps his tongue down. Because you're, to, to nurse really well, your tongue going up again. Your tongue needs to move up and out at the same time. With the tongue and, and lip tie, there's abnormal growth of the bones in the front of the face, upper and lower, mm -hmm. which can potentially lead to sleep apnea in the three to five year old people, babies. So sleep apnea issues go away. Yeah. Tooth decay goes away, speech problems go away, feeding, eating, gaining weight gets better. So all the good things are gonna happen with uh, little to no problem. Yeah, you wish you were here two months, two and a half months ago, right? I've been here. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> and you knew it all along, but people kept telling you there's nothing wrong. So when we see this, we feel really good about what we can do. Dr. Jesse works with a nearby teaching hospital and travels to different states so others can learn about the procedure. Motivation and a commitment to help others, typical of the American spirit. Dr. Howard Kim is also a pediatric dentist. He's from Hawaii, and he came to California to learn from Dr. Jesse. I came here to see Dr. Jesse perform his phrenectomies for babies. I heard about it, and I decided to come and look, because I'm doing this in Hawaii, and I need to improve my skills. And he has, he has been so generous to let me come in. Are patients coming to you on a regular basis asking about this? I just started to do this. I've done about 35 of these cases recently. <clears throat> and gradually we, they're finding out, so now they're coming. I've been to a residency, never heard about it. <clears throat> My daughter been to a residency, finished NYU in 2000 and about seven years ago. She never heard about it. My son and I just finished this past year in New York, never heard about it. So this is just recent because I got the laser machine, the people have been coming to my office in Hawaii. Life-changing for patients? Oh, such a thrill, such a thrill to help these people. Dentists and patients have sought out Dr. Jesse from around the globe. Well, last year the farthest to see us was Beijing, China, just to have this done. And we had somebody from Austria. Uh, Hawaii is still the United States, but it's a ways away. And previous years, um, you know, Italy, Hong Kong, uh, so Singapore, okay. just everywhere. Why aren't they doing this in Singapore and Italy? And you know, uh, good, great question. Probably number one is dentists are afraid of babies. They don't understand what to do or how to do it, which is a good thing, so they shouldn't. And or they don't have a laser and don't know what to do. So, you know, what I want to do is try to educate more people. I can't do, we, we, I can't do them all. 
Miles and Maddox Yeomans, identical twin boys, have the same condition, lip and tongue tie. They are about to undergo the quick laser surgery to fix both problems. <laughs> You're a good little patient. The procedure begins with a numbing solution on the gum area. First, a topical ointment followed by a tiny needle. After the numbing takes effect, the infant is given protective eye gear and the laser process begins to remove excess tissue, preventing the baby from nursing properly. Less than a minute later, the procedure is finished. That's Maddox on the left, Miles on the right. Mom, Dad, and yes, Granddad. Dr. Jesse performed the intricate surgery on his own grandsons. It's not just babies, though, that need Dr. Jesse's help. 13-year-old Joseph, he is a big fan of basketball and cheeseburgers, but what he isn't a fan of is the big gap between his front teeth, a problem created by being lip-tied since birth. When he was an infant, you know, we didn't really notice it because it didn't bother him. He didn't have any trouble feeding or anything like they say for some of the other kids. But as he got older and his teeth started to come in and there was the gap, and then we started noticing it. It's hard for Joseph to brush his teeth. Yes, it is. Yeah, and it's annoying when you do. The laser machine is powered up and Joseph is ready for what his family and Dr. Jesse believe will be an immense difference in his dental health, appearance, and self-esteem. We're done. Okay. In less than a minute, Joseph's lip tie That's is gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Yep. Let me show you. See? This will smooth out and go away on its own. Mm -hmm. But take a look in the mirror. See? Can you see? It's gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Joseph gives a big thumbs up. It's one baby in eight would benefit from this procedure. So more pediatricians need to know about it. Uh, more dentists need to know. I, I can't do them all. I can't train them all. But, you know, with the education, um, the mothers are going online and seeing what to do is the physicians and dentists can easily do that too. Both a doctor and dentist can help parents decide what's right for their family and if a child's condition is serious enough to interfere with development.